Now, a few years ago, holograms were the stuff of science fiction. Now, in a world first, they're being used to help teach medical students. Our science correspondent, Richard Westcott, was given exclusive access to see the holograms in action. From the outside, it looks like some kind of bizarre drama class, until you can see what these doctors are seeing. So I'm just going to look at the patient's pupils, and they seem to be equal and reactive to light. It should then give you an option to pick your stethoscope up. A holographic patient with severe asthma. Treating her is new doctor Anikut. Uh, maybe give her some salbutamol. Yeah. Um, Under the watchful eyes of trainers Johnny and Ruby. And if you're struggling, just say, oh, I think I need a hand and I'll yeah, come sure. and help yeah. you. This world-first mixed reality technology is the future of medical training. Hi guys, my name is Anikit Bharadwaj. I've been a doctor for two years and in the future I want to be a surgeon. Throughout medical school we had situations where patients would come in and act as actors and um, obviously with the pandemic hitting uh, a lot of that pivoted to tablet-based uh, kind of interactions because obviously the risk to patients. But if we have something like this, this would really um, you know, take training to a bit more interactive and realistic level. It's been developed by an American technology company, Cambridge University and doctors at Adam Brooks Hospital who made sure it was as realistic as possible. It feels very much more that you're connected to the scenario and when you feel this patient, when you see the visuals, when you see their neck muscles straining, when you see the, the way that they're breathing and the trained eye of a doctor will tell a lot from how a patient's chest rises and falls and we've spent a lot of time trying to get that exactly right. Um, yeah, if you step back at once, one step and come round this way a little bit, you sort of, her head is here. Okay, yeah. So Johnny, this is kind of mixed reality, isn't it? So you can see the patient, for example, sitting next to me, but you mm -hmm. can also see me in real life and you can see Steve the cameraman as well. Yeah. Does this allow students, do you think, to fail more dramatically? This is what we want to do. We want to people to understand they're in a safe space, to be able to uh, feel psychologically that they can make an error and no one's going to criticise them for it. <coughs> Our session was joined from the US and Malaysia, but the system lets doctors anywhere train remotely. What excites me is using it for something like a C-section, where in developing countries that procedure can literally be a life or death procedure because doctors aren't sufficiently trained. So basically they don't have to have the visors, they can train with a mobile phone? They can train with nothing more than their mobile device. Now the plan is to sell the system around the world with some of the profits ploughed back into the NHS. Richard Westcott, BBC News, Cambridge. So clever, isn't it? Uh,